What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at how we can change the default program installation directory inside Windows 10 now this is also possible to do on all other versions of Windows okay now with the introduction of SSDs and some of them are very small like 30 gigabytes and 60 gigabytes that sometimes is not enough to put all your programs on now you can uh, change the installation path on the uh, installation of whatever you're installing to another drive say let's just say the uh, one terabyte mechanical drive you may have and you can change that to the uh, D installation folder on that D drive so you would have to keep doing that and I want to show you a quick way of changing the registry so you don't have to keep doing it so let's take a look at uh, what I mean here so we're going to right click on the start button and hit file explorer now if we look at file explorer you can see there's a load of folders here which are related to uh, this um, machine so if we look at the path here you can see the path the location for this is on the C drive now if you've got loads and loads of files some people keep loads of documents on their desktop and sometimes this can fill up the drive very quickly you may want to move this to another um, partition or another drive so if you've got another drive i.e. a mechanical drive that's one terabyte or 500 gigabytes you may want to click on move and select that drive and move this over now you can do it also to the downloads folder you can do it to all these actual folders here okay just like so now if you wanted to do that that's fine but what happens if you want to change all the programs uh, folders well that's more difficult you can't just go ahead and change those because that's going to be a little bit more difficult to do from the C from the C drive here so if we right click on here and go properties you can see there's no location area here and we can't change that so let me just show you how to do that in the registry so first off what we're going to do is open up the start button here and type in here reg edit just like so and uh, we're going to click on this and click yes to the user account control and uh, what we want to do is go to the H key local machine we want to then go to software then Microsoft we want to pull all the way down to Windows you can see Windows here pull this down here and we want to go to current version just click on current version okay now once you click on that you can see the directory here so you can see the program files dir and you can see that's pointing to the c c drive here and also you've got the program files dir times 86 this is if you're installing the 32-bit uh, programs so basically you can change both of these to the d drive if you wish so we're going to go into the programs files dir and we're going to make a change now you would make this as a change to d now i've not got no second drive on here but this is what you would do so you change this to d and click ok and you can see the d drive everything will in automatically be installed to that drive now so you can also do the same for the 32-bit area which is pretty straightforward and do that as well okay and that's that you have pretty much done now you've got a couple of other ones here but you can leave these but if you want to change these you can do but I would leave those um, but if these are the two main two that you want to change and if you want to put them back you can do and that's about it guys that's how easy it is to change the default directory of your programs folder inside Windows 10 but this will also work in Windows 8 Windows 8.1 7 Vista and XP okay now obviously uh, you might not want to do this and if you don't then you can use the other method but either way uh, use which method you wish to do okay now obviously uh, once that drive has been changed all the installations for all your programs will not go onto your C drive they will be pointing to whatever drive letter that you've changed anyway so I hope this one helps you out my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoyed these videos guys then hit that like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos if you've got any video requests or any problems with computers or anything like that then head over to the forums and post up over there I'll do my best to make those videos for you so thanks again for watching guys thanks for your support bye for now